Welcome back to another video. This will be a follow up for the split tool. So as you can see, split can be used to cut and relimit an element using a cutting element. Now within my previous video, we saw how we can do split between surface, sketches, planes. But now I want to discuss the case study presented over here. So as we can see over here, we have this surface, which will be the round circular shape and we're gonna have two splits over here now if i will hide inverse one we're gonna see that underneath inverse one we're gonna have split two over here so if i will hide that and reveal only the inverse now if you are not familiar with what is an inverse surface we're gonna see over here what is the case study and i will also go with infusion since we're gonna have a better visualization over there now if i will start and do the splitting so i want to cut the main element over here and the two cutting elements will be split one and we're gonna see that for, for split one we're gonna have an the following update error so the splitting or trimming bodies uh, define areas for which the operator cannot decide whether they must be kept or not. So we see that split one cannot be used over here directly. I will have that removed. And if I will go for split two over here, we're going to see that we're going to have the following problem over here. Now, a workaround would be to use the join feature over here. So if I will go for join, I can merge those two elements over here so if i'm just gonna overlap over here the inverse will be selected over here so this will be split one and the first will be inverse one and i want to join those two if i will check the connectivity over here i will uncheck that i will click ok and now i have the possibility to split the same element with that joined feature over here and since this will be a split if I will click OK, after the split, this will be the output. So those two existing surfaces will be merged onto the, um, the initial profile over here. And we're going to have that middle part removed. We can always go with the other side and we're going to obtain the following cutout over here. Now I will just delete that. And um, another solution would be to have this field. So, um, Keep that in mind when you are working with join. If you go and check the connectivity, those will not be needed to be close to each other. Because, for example, we have the possibility to go with wireframe and I can recreate a rectangle over here. So I can define one line over there, one line at the top. And now I can go with the fill. I can select that open border over here. And uh, we're going to have a gap because I didn't make the selection properly. So let me just redo that. So I want to fill this with the top section. Over here, I need to select that edge and now the less profile. And as we're going to see now, the profile will be closed. And again, we can go with join. And in this case, I can leave that uh, check connectivity checked. And we're going to have those merged. And again, we can use the split to cut that element with the joint, and we're gonna have the follow, following situation over here. Now, if I will undo all of those, we're gonna go all the way over here, and I will delete that inverse over here. So we see that visually nothing happened. We had that inverse deleted. And if I wanna do that join again, so I want that face with that one, to be joined they will be joined but if i will go and have the splitting with this as a cutting element again we're going to see that problem so keep that in mind that it is always important to check the normals you can find the feature over here so this will be invert orientation and i can just select it we're going to see to invert and i will click ok and after the invert, if I will join those two again together, they will again be viable for the trimming tool. In this case, for split. 
but for trim uh, it will act the same okay so one another thing that i want to present over here so as we saw within my previous video when we're going to do a split this will go um, and the profile will be extrapolated so in order to highlight that let me quickly create a rectangle over here then i want to have this rectangle field and i want to create a new sketch over here and the new sketch will be a spline the spline tool will be added over here and i will just add the following spline over here now if i will go and i want to split this surface with the spline we're going to see how this will be extrapolated so i will go for split element to cut will be the newly defined fill and the cutting element will be the spline and we see how those will um, extrapolate we can change that over here so currently this set to tangent if you're gonna go to none the split will no longer be able to um, to be processed this is because those vertices will be located inwards within the surface so if you wanna not use the extrapolation we should make sure that the sketch will be outside so for example if i will just drag it like this now if i will do the same split the cutting element even though i will have this set to none we will be able to have that that defined so we see the output of that but keep in mind that usually it is okay to leave this extrapolation type as tangent and that will fix that okay so i hope you find this video useful i will position a similar video over here on the left side and a subscribe button to the right so the next feature that i will discuss will be trim within the following video so that's it thanks for watching okay so i almost forgot i wanted to show this um with infusion so invert orientation over here within katia we see that if we're gonna make that invert orientation for a surface we're just gonna have this arrow so i can click it to be pointed upwards or downwards depending on the normal to the surface but visually the surface will have the same color now if i will jump with infusion over here things are a little bit um, easier to see visually so for example i will recreate something similar to that so i'll go to surface and i want to have this patched on the middle and as you can see over here this will have um, this gray color but if i will gonna check this from the bottom this will be yellow so this will also indicate the normal direction if you want to change that again we can do the same over here reverse normal i can select it i can click ok and now we're gonna have the yellow surface pointing upwards and the other one pointing downwards so this is some major advantage that we can rapidly visualize the normals over here while we think atia we need to double check it and we need to check exactly the orientation of that and we saw how that works within uh, the splitting tool okay so again i will position a similar video over here on the left side and a subscribe button to the right so that's it thanks for watching